and that goes down into some type of basement. Yeah, no thanks. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll go in the basement. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Brian Fitz. Today I have another adventure for you. First, we're going to explore a lighthouse that was built in 1823. After that, we're going to explore some abandoned places. And finally, we're going back in time. We're time traveling today through a portal. Before we get started, if you're new to my YouTube channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification so you can be updated when I drop new videos. If you're watching this on IGTV and you haven't followed me yet, go ahead, follow me, like this video, comment, and also turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my content that I dropped. Without further ado, let's get started. When I said time travel, you're probably like, what is this dude talking about? Is he crazy? There's no such thing as time travel or portals. Well, have you ever heard of the six degrees of separation? It's the idea that all people are just six or fewer connections away from one another. And I know a friend that has a friend that told me where a time portal is and we're going there today. But first, we're here at the first location. We're at the lighthouse right here. Let's get into it. Thanks for sticking with me. Where I'm going, the park is closed and you're not allowed to bring vehicles through here. So I'm ready for the best and prepared for the worst. Where we're going is about several miles out and this is better than walking. Look at the scenery. You gotta love it. Okay guys, we are that much closer and I'm that much more tired right now. We just biked and walked a little bit, probably like six and a half miles. Whew, it's windy, check out the chocolate waves. But right behind me right now, that's where we're going. We still have quite a ways to go. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for staying with me. Man, it's windy out here, guys. So I just wanted to stop and give you a little bit more information on this lighthouse that we're visiting. So. Originally, it was built in 1808. It was a wooden structure. In 1821, the building got demolished, which then they rebuilt it like this. This place is locked up and sealed, as it should be. You can't get inside. But stay with me. We have two more places to go to. Next, we're going to an abandoned place. After that, we're going to the time portal. Stay tuned for more. Just a quick shout out to all the dads out there. If you like drinking whiskey and you like listening to podcasts, check out my two friends, Matthew and Dave. They have a podcast called Whiskey Drinking Dads. Go check them out right now. This is their Instagram. Much love. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me. It's way past lunchtime. My stomach's growling. We still have two places to go. I had to stop at a local restaurant. Today, I went to Honey Spot Monroe and I got the gourmet focaccia sandwich. This consists of focaccia bread, which is fresh, fresh mozzarella, fresh tomato, fresh basil. It's phenomenal. Go place your order now. This is the link to their Instagram. We still have two more places to go, the abandoned place and also the time portal. Stay tuned for more. I love you guys. So if you've made it this far in the vlog, that means you're a true champion and I appreciate you. Guess what guys? We made it to the abandoned place. You ready? Let's go. All right guys, so before I get in this place, I just wanna make sure from the outside that it's secure enough for me to even go in. Looks like things are open. There's an open book up there. Some type of, some type of holy grail, something like that. Well, this is pretty creepy, but we're going in guys, so let's go. Hello, this is actually kind of freaky. Hello. Oh, this is extra creepy right now. <laughs> I mean, the wind's coming through here and any open book is just blowing in the wind. Anything that's loose is blowing in the wind. All right, we're gonna check out this room right now. This would have been a pretty sweet room. recognize any of these titles and it's a good read leave it in the comments below an old painting for you this is just incredible you got a lot more to see <laughs> I 
that's creepy as heck. And that goes down into some type of basement. Yeah, no thanks. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll go in the basement. <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh, that freaked me out. Doing this alone, I used to do this with a group of friends, like nine of us. Doing this alone is much different. So look at what we have right here. Some type of old music player of some sort. Let's get a closer look. This place is creepy as can be. Extra creepy. There's statues of owls everywhere. I see one staring at me in the woods. Like, why put that statue in the woods? Okay, and the adventure continues. I mean, it's beautiful. This rusticness, these vines growing down. These windows are like cast iron. This was built well. That's why it's still here. Oh, we have a bell. We gotta ring it. Yeah, I like that. All right, I'm going back in. Are you guys ready for this? Abandoned piano. That's all you get. That was fun right there. I appreciate you guys listening to that. If you're still in the vlog right now, much love and respect. Go drop a like right now. We still have a lot more to do today. We still have to time travel. We're almost done with this place. All right, I think the last thing we're gonna do is quickly just look at that barn and then we're out of here. Thanks for sticking with me. Much love and respect. So I'm making my way over to this barn right now. It's pretty cool looking. I like the log work. Do you agree? Once was like a log cabin. Let's see how much of it we can explore. There's a statue right here of a monkey holding a human skull. Do you see that? It's the thinking monkey with a human skull. Who lived here? I mean, I appreciate the uh, diverse art, but uh, I personally wouldn't have that in my collection. This is the creaky door. So I'm just gonna poke this camera upstairs real quick to get a look. That's all we got. If you stayed here this long, you are valued and I truly appreciate you. It is time to time travel. Let's go. Guys, we made it to the portal. This is the water portal that my friends told me about. If you step your foot into this amazing water, you can go back in time, you can go forward in time, whatever you'd like. Today, we're gonna be going back in time when you can fight with swords, fight off lions, all that. Something definitely happened with the time. But uh, let's try one more time. There will be a lot of fighting and a lot of falling off of stuff. Thank you. Round one, fight. Round two, fight. Did you like this movie? 
movie, or did you not? How we did this movie, in our living room, we had to flip over two chairs, and we used it as a case. I did my growl to pretend that it's a lion. Now let's get back to Greg. So Greg, how'd you really make this movie? How'd you come up with it? Well, my parents said that it's time to start a movie, and we really made a movie. So you got together with me, right? Yeah. I got together with my old friend that we've been on the same soccer team for four years. We've been in five four years. What? Five or four years, right? Five or four years. And we've been in the same school since pre since preschool. And, yeah, kindergarten and preschool sort of. And we had a great time. Thank you. Just one side now we have to see. Now we're gonna watch our tape inside our house. And I hope my mom cleaned everything up. So that just about wraps up our fourth adventure vlog. If you made it this far, I truly appreciate you. If you haven't already, go like, subscribe, follow, smash that like button, smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate you guys so much. Once you do that, that'll let me know that I should continue to make content like this. Don't forget, you can engage with me in the comments below. Much love and respect, Brian Fitz is out. And we had